What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kel. Back to you with another video. Uh, we'll be reacting to, uh, as I read the title, I'm going to be reacting to uh, Michael Knowles confronts religion, OnlyFans girl for blasphemy. How can you be an OnlyFans and serve the Lord? So, in the comment section, y'all drop y'all honest opinions or whatever. And let's get so, started. who here is religious? Just curious. I, be I believe in God. Believe in God? I but consider... like, are, are you Christian right? or... Or more just you generally believe. So, yeah. yeah. Wait. Love Cindy, you're Christian? Yeah, I believe in God. I see you're wearing a cross there. I am. Catholic. Catholic, okay. Because I was going to ask you, do you still think that I should wear a cross when I'm making the, my OF content? Well, we had a sort of viral exchange about that. The first thing I wanted to fir first bring up, bring up is your Instagram, Nick. If you're able to bring up her, what the hell? Wait, Nick, make it bigger. Make it bigger. Like zoom it in just to the top. I don't. I don't need to see the photos. I can see past you. You got it, Nick. It's all good. Cindy Zhang, God first. Now, right below God first in your Instagram profile is a link to your website, which inevitably re pretty much redirects essentially to your OnlyFans account where you make pornographic content. That's interesting to me. So God first. It's almost bla I don't know if it's if that meets the definition of blasphemy, but literally below it is a link to your pornographic content. Explain that to me. Make that make sense. There's nothing wrong with the content that I make, and I don't think God is shaming me for anything that I am doing right now. So okay. there's nothing wrong. Yeah, uh, that's not the best answer, but a, a good answer like, would be... Like, what do you want me to say? Well, you might say hypocrisy is the tribute vice pays to virtue, and, you know, you believe in God, but you're kind of doing things that maybe are contrary to that, but you're kind of working on it, and so I wouldn't, you know, the better thing to do would be keep the necklace and, you know, give up the OnlyFans stuff, but the fact that you've got that reminder there is probably good, because there's, it's a reminder that we... We worship the things that we spend all of our time and our affection on, right? And so you can come to worship money, and you can come to worship sex, and you come to worship all sorts of false gods, or you can worship the real God. And and furthermore, you become what you worship. So the, the <laughs> when you worship something, you just become more like it. And, uh, I agree with and that. you're torn between two gods, right? So you're and and you're torn right. between two gods. There's only one God. Right. Well, they're false gods. There are plenty of false gods, right? We make false gods out of money and sex and vanity and, and ourselves. Anything that you're putting above God. Okay. Is yeah. So, but, like, so you, you, and you're kind of, it seems to me... You're, I'm not putting anything above God. God is first. And I, like, if, I pray every single day. I'm very blessed with my job. He actually blessed me with everything. I came from nothing, literally. But like, if, you know, if you believe in God and you think that, like, uh, you believe in, like, the Christian God... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, you know... Hey, I noticed her walking away even back. Hey, she probably felt a little guilty. She didn't want to get asked no questions or whatever. But let's continue watching the video. You would say, well, um... There's so there's God, and then there's Satan. What I should have said on the other podcast was that well, Satan is trying to sway you. Do you want to invest but don't know where to start? Check out the Weeble app. An easy to you from believing in God. Well, so the, qu the question that I asked was... Uh, so I think it was, well, my question, I think the first question was, do you think God wants, wants you making porn to your, and your answer was, I said, okay, the first time I said yes, yeah. but and then what well, and I wanted to just change my, res like, I think that there's nothing wrong with what I, what I do. And, um, well, the, the yeah. exchange we had, my, my follow-up question was, if God wants you to be a porn star, what do you think Satan wants? <laughs> Satan wants you to sway you from believing in God's purpose. Okay, but your, so, res your response was Satan would want you to not do porn, and God would want you to do porn. Yeah, my response was that, mm -hmm. but like, I understand where you're saying like people are, can be lusting over porn mm -hmm. and like sex yeah. work content. You that's obviously their, don't really. That's their cho that's their choice. But what I'm doing, I'm not harming anybody. But but the the uh, religion that you profess to believe in doesn't just boil down to hey don't harm anybody. That's that's just like 
libertarianism. <laughs> you know, the religion that you say that you believe in has ten commandments. The sixth of which is uh, to uh, not commit adultery. And the God that you profess to believe in says that if you look on a woman with lust, that is the same as adultery. And the religion that you profess to believe in has a, a sexual ethic that, that accompanies it. And so you might say, well, I don't believe in any of that stuff. I just believe in a, a version of that, that God that I've fashioned after my own preferences. But that gets to the very point we were just talking about, which is you're in this struggle between which God you're, you're going to worship. And I, I, I can tell you're struggling with that because you, you protest too much. You put in your bio... I put God first, right among all of this kind of lusty stuff. And so you're struggling with it. A lot of people struggle with that. I'm not kind of struggling with it. I, I pray every day. I believe you pray every day. And, and I, keep, I still stand by the fact that he's blessed. Like ever since I got baptized and I start following God's path, he's blessed me with every opportunity I have been given to me. And I'm very grateful. I would not like sit here and like say that he hasn't done anything for me and no, like, and, like i'm not grateful or yeah, anything yeah. like that but, but like with the fact of like um you know like sinning from lusting and watching for, i get all that but that's their choice at the end of the day not mine um and yeah like i don't think god's oh you're saying it's only it's only a sin to look at the to produce the I'm not making on my on my OnlyFans, so. I mean, you kind of are, aren't you? Like. Being naked is considered a sin. It's well, it's, it is. Po- it's considered yeah. porn. Yeah. Yeah. We all sin though every day. We do. I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm I'm not knocking you. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you you the fact that you would have that on on this page that has a bunch of on it, you say, but I put God first. I to me would imply that you are struggling between. What you I'm really not struggling. Uh, so says you. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not struggling. It. I believe in God every day. And I, 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 I bet you do to a large degree. But when those two things come into conflict, when you say, I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, I believe in Christianity, and God and the Bible and Christianity say, hey, don't engage in promiscuity and sexual immorality and, you know, sex outside of marriage and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, you're, you have to face a choice. Well, do, do I pursue that God or the God of do as thou wilt and go have sex and go produce porn or whatever? Those things are going to come into conflict. And so you have to come to a decision. And you can, you can pick one or the other, but that will become your God and you will become more like the God that you worship. Okay, well, I worship a God that like walks on earth with grace and dignity and... Um, I feel nothing wrong with what I'm doing right now. Do you really not? So, so then how do you answer like the sixth commandment? How do I answer six? What is the sixth commandment? Thou shalt not commit adultery and uh, more broadly speaking, uh, s- sexual immorality. If, if, the, if your chosen profession is sexual immorality, how do you reconcile that with the, the, the faith? Okay. But still, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Even people who are... But, but the religion um, says there is something wrong with mm-hmm. that. And, and you say you believe in the religion. So mm-hmm. so then you got then you might say, well, I actually don't believe in the religion. But you, but you just I said do. you do believe in it. I exactly. do believe in so, God. So then how do you reconcile mm-hmm. those, that conflict? There's nothing to reconcile because... The religion no- says don't do this. You say I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. How do you... Re- you have to reconcile that. Or, or you have to say I don't believe in the one. I, I only believe in the other. He's no, not God. I'm, you don't have to like. I, I'm yourself. just saying, like, there's really <laughs> nothing. Take, take like, what applies. Take what applies. Number and one, drop like, whatever doesn't to you. Number no, one, if that makes you happy, we, sin, we yeah. all sin. That's the second number two, say, which is you know, make a god out of yourself and your own autonomy. Number two, you don't really know me. I'm well, I'm not you judging really you in any me. way. I'm just asking. So, I'm just, but of the information and, that yeah. he has, based off, you know, you wear a cross while you shoot your. Okay, and you can make that judgment and. I'm not making any it, judgment. You've you made, are. You, I'm not. You've made. You two, are. You've though. made two statements, and they contradict each other, right? You said, "I believe in God. I believe in the Christian religion. I I believe in the Bible and the Ten Commandments and all the rest of it, and I believe that the thing that I'm doing that is explicitly prohibited by my religion is good, and I'm saying you can only believe one of those two things coherently because they contradict one another." 
And and I'm I'm not knocking you. I'm not saying you have to make an account of your life or anything. I actually believe you're most likely already struggling with that because you have both of those things very explicitly. I'm not struggling actually. Page. And it's and it would be unusual for people in your profession to have that kind of a profession of faith at the top. And I think it's good that you have it. And I think it's good that you wear the cross. And I think it's good that you're praying. But you're going to have to reconcile that conflict eventually. I don't think I have to reconcile anything. Like Can I, say something? I still think that like God gave me this opportunity to do what I do, um, and I'm very happy. Wait, God gave you the opportunity to make pornographic content? Adult content. Oh, excuse me, adult content. Um, do you wear you wear uh, do you wear your cross while you're making the pornographic content? Like, is it is it in the final product? I wear my. Like if you you're wear distributing, a jewelry, you wear it everywhere you go. Sure, but if so you're distributing if you're videos and photos, taking a picture, making a video, it's gonna, you know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna take it off when I'm like. Right, because okay. then, then you would have to acknowledge that there's a problem. I, tell you, I wear a scapular, you know, just like a Catholic, Catholic version of that right here. And uh, if I'm gonna commit a sin or something, I, f I feel an impulse to uh, take it off because I think, oh, it's kind of sacrilegious mm -hmm. if I'm like committing. And but then then I think like, well, I probably just shouldn't commit the sin, right? You know, and then I don't need to reconcile it. But it it is that kind of a conflict. And I also wear it just because I feel like I'm protected. Um, and God always is... It's a symbol of a broader grace from yes, God. Yes, yeah. definitely. And there's only one God, and I, I don't, I'm not, like, recon not doing any of that, so what you, you were saying. You think that the, the pro prohibitions of sexual immorality in the Bible are just optional? It's not optional. It's, you have to follow his path and his words and not to lie, steal, and all those stuff. Those are not good. Um, yes. I don't like. I don't partake in those acts. It says, I believe Jesus said that if you love him, you'll follow his commands. If you love Jesus, you'll follow his commands. Uh, and but you, you do, um, like I'm not telling tales out of school, you do partake in sexual immorality. It's your job. So you're saying, okay, the lying is bad, I'm going to follow that one. The stealing is bad, I'm going to follow that one. But, ah, the sixth commandment, we're going to skip over that one. And uh, what's the seventh one? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one, that one too. Is that it? You're saying some of it's op optional and some of it's mandatory? Or, or you're saying that you have a conflict and you're just trying to work it out, which is probably actually what's going on. I'm not, but I enjoy what I do, so... I really don't like. I really do not think uh, there's anything wrong with my job. So if the if the Bible says it is that there is something wrong, then you don't believe the Bible. Not everything in the Bible is true. Of course. Hey there. Are you looking to grow closer to God? Dive deeper into prayer. This Everything in the Bible. Nickelodeon is donated Christian. two hundred dollars. You say you pray all the time, but you forget the important part: listening. Maybe God brought you here to realize the mistakes you're making and change. Instead, you get defensive and don't listen. Hey, Nickelodeon, thank you for the uh, TTS. Thank you for yeah. the TTS. Well, you, uh, if you guys want to continue on, I mean, I think you're actually making a very interesting point. Um, I mean, Cindy, did you want to respond? He, Michael, Michael was saying that, well, if the Bible says X, but you, it sounds like you don't believe in, I don't want to, if you want yeah, to restate yeah, your point. Actually, sure, yeah. you, you, you're saying, that I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a conflict here, I don't think anything that I'm doing is wrong, but the Bible says that the thing you're doing is wrong, and so, again, I'm not, not thumping on the Bible here, I'm just trying to make sense of the two things you've said that, are, that contradict one another. Okay. Me partaking in adult content is contradicting what the Bible says about the sexual immorality. Yeah. Sexual immorality. Okay. Uh, or you know the uh, woman at the well, or you know any, right. any number of books of the Old Testament. Right. So. I sh I just feel like even like people who are a prostitute, who, who like whatever, like in sexual content, they're they're really not doing anything wrong. Like at the end of the day, but they're Christianity still says they are, and Christianity says you're welcome to come in, and you are afforded the grace of God, and you can have redemption, and but but Christianity also says go forth and sin no more. So is her choice to then reject the religion? Uh, well, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, I would recommend uh, keeping your faith. Do you and, think and that God loves everyone? Yes. 
Okay, so. But God loves you too much to keep you as you are, <laughs> is, is the reality of it. And so I'm not suggesting you abandon your faith at all. I'm suggesting you abandon the things that you're doing that contradict your professed faith. Because otherwise, you won't actually have your faith. You'll, you'll have. Video, you'll, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And my uh, overview on this, uh, if you love the Lord, you're, you'll take his commands and do it as the Lord would. Like, I feel like her conscience of certain things is not just. I think her conscience is low. Like I feel like she felt guilt before in her earlier years, and then over time it went away. But other than that, man, y'all give me y'all honest opinions in the bottom, facts, you know how y'all do. But look, y'all, peace out.